I'm at a site called Saiwite, outside of Cusco. And there you can see an Inca construction. It's a terracing system. It's actually a waterfall. Water was channeled through a series of terraces. Probably it had some kind of ceremonial purpose. But what I've come to see as I walk over this little bridge is something that defines why I call my little entity or enterprise Hidden Inca Tours. And that's this. This is pre-Inca work. This is megalithic, and this is most likely thousands of years older than the Inca. So far back in time that there are no oral traditions relating to it. Now what you can clearly see are these are giant boulders that have been shaped by some kind of tool. The question is what tools and when. Too often places like this are called Inca ceremonial sites. But the truth is this is much, much older than the Inca. Very hard stone and the tools used would have been tools much harder than what the Inca had. The Inca solely had bronze chisels and stone hammers. And this would have had to have been done with steel, uh, carbon steel, tungsten carbide, or even possibly diamond. Now the most amazing thing here is what you can tell is this was once one piece of stone and it broke in two. The question is when did this break happen? Clearly it happened after the stone had been shaped because you can see where the surfaces lined up. It would not have been a flaw in the stone because any sculptor or stonemason would have detected the flaw prior to doing all of this work. And it's also not the result of settling of the stone. Because even if the land had settled, there's no way it could have snapped a stone of this scale in two pieces like this. Now, if this was a flaw in the stone before or during it was worked on, unlikely during because it looks very finished, but any stonemason or sculptor would have noticed a crack of this scale prior to breaking. The finishes here are smooth and clearly look finished. The question is, how old is this? It's doubtful that the Inca made this because it's andesite stone, which is very hard. It's as hard as or harder than granite. So you would need at least steel, which the Inca did not have. So what I believe is we're looking at example, at an example of lost ancient technology at work. And the thing is that these sites are rarely made of like one or two interesting stones. There are usually many, but you have to really look for them. And in this case, we found the hitching post of the sun or the Intihuatana. It's quite a unique stone in that it has this square hole cut into it, which you can see. Now, I should have brought a compass to figure out what direction the hole is, but actually what I can tell you is the sun is directly behind me. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun is setting. So that tells us that this hole faces east and west. And that would be logical in, ter in uh, terms of it being a hitching post of the sun or a sun-related uh, stone monument of some kind.